Uh, reacting to another depression video, old school J wise. At least about two years ago. Let's get into this. This depression shit. Has to stop today. Too many people use this word depression so loosely. Depression is a serious thing, you know. And everyone seems to think they're depressed. Bruh, you're not depressed. Now, I was going back and forth with a man. Now, this video ain't, you know, a shot at him. But this is just for everyone, isn't it? Yeah. Stop using this fucking word depressed. You're not depressed. A man tell me how, you know, he can't attract a gal and all them thing there or whatever, isn't it? Yeah. If you're a guy watching this or you're a girl watching this right now and you can't attract a mate or whatever, you're not depressed, you know. You're sexually frustrated. That's what you are, isn't it? Yeah. Stop using this word depressed. It's used too loosely. Do you know what depression is? Like them fucking girls in America that have been kidnapped, abducted, and they have to live in a man's basement. The whole family and neighbours looking for them for years. And during that time, the man's going about his business, doing whatever he wants. No one knows what's going on. And he, at any time he wants, like picking candy off a shelf in a shop, can go downstairs and rape the girls. Yeah. Yeah, that was deep. That happened in America. So basically there was, a, um, I think... Some kind of Mexican looking man, he was a bus driver, school bus driver. He must have kidnapped about three gal and um, held them in his basement for years. All five, ten years. All impregnated them, all them things there. That's depression, blood. You live in a yard and you got family around you and you got a roof over your head and running water and food in the fridge and clothes on your back and you got one, two friends that phone you and you go and check their blood. You're not depressed, blood. Depression is having a fucking missile blow up your yard and you got to sleep on the streets now like these people in fucking Afghanistan that ain't got no home. Or the people in Ukraine. Tank fire missile into their inside of their building, inside of their yard. That's depression, blood. You've lost everything that you've worked for. I guarantee you, there's more. There's probably more people in this country that claim that they're depressed than the people them that have come over from Ukraine. I see one video. Obviously, this is just one person. I see one video. It's like a TikTok thing that they had on Instagram. Uh, Ukrainian refugee enjoying my mum's jerk chicken and that. She sounded like she's having fun. But I remember that video. Write down in the comment section if you remember that video. Where the, uh, the the Ukrainian girl was trying to jerk chicken and that and saying how oh, it's nice and that. She looked like she's having fun. And she had to flee her own country. Leave everything behind. Family, friends, everything. All the memories in their yard and that. You think you're depressed? You're not depressed. Depressed is being held captive. In a man's basement. No window, you know. Your window is a door, blood. You want to talk about you're depressed? You need a slap in your face, blood. Depressed is getting your leg amputated, blood. Or being told that you got cancer and you got six months to live, blood. That's depression. Your biggest problem is you can't find a girl. That ain't a bad problem to have, you know. Trust me, there's a lot of worse problems that you can have. You just need to do some, some work. You need to socialise some more. If you're struggling meeting girls and that, bro, the solution ain't just to go and run around and chase girls and get numbers and that. Why don't you try socialising? But that's the thing. Us people, we're too lazy to socialise and, you get me, start networking and make new friends with people and that. The best way to meet girls is not through dating apps, not through running around chasing after girls. Yeah, I've got four or five numbers, 20 numbers and that, and they all turn into flakes. The best way to meet women is through socialising, meeting new people. But the reason why people can't exercise that option because they're too lazy to. Imagine, imagine spending 10, 15 years of your life in someone's fucking basement. No fresh air. 
You can't even look out the fucking window. That's depression. Mm -hmm. One man, throw acid in your face. Or you have to get your arm amputated because you've got cancer. Yeah, that's something to be depressed over. I just said. Not, oh, I can't attract a girl or I can't attract a guy. Nah, fam. That ain't depression. And you see that? One of the reasons why some people can't attract people because they just got this doom and gloom, depressed aura. I'm not saying they're depressed. I'm saying they believe they're depressed. But they got this doom and gloom aura about them. They're no fun to be around. Who wants to... <laughs> Ask yourself, who, want, who would want to be around you with your depressed uh, aura, with your boring doom and gloom aura? Who would want to enter your world? Hey, everybody, come. Who wants to come to the land of depressed? Who wants to really feel oppressed? Who wants to hang around me and, and, and get drunk? Not because they're socially drinking and that, because it's just an escape. Who the fuck wants to be around you? That's why you can't attract a girl or a woman. That's why you can't attract a man. Because no one wants to fucking be around you. There's no sunshine and rainbows in your world. It's just rain and thunderstorms and clouds. Always something bad going on. That's the, that's the reason why no one wants to fucking be around you. Good energy attracts good energy. And I don't believe in this law of attraction shit in it. But I just believe, why would someone who is on a positive, on a high, want to hang around with someone who's just on a negative, on a decline? Forget about this the universe is going to attract you, all this bollocks and that. It's just common sense. You are what you hang around with. You're depressed or you're acting like you're depressed. People are going to want to hang. The only people that want to be around you is other people that are like they're depressed. You're a drug dealer and that. Guess what? Other people are going to want to hang around with you. are drug dealers and fraudsters and check scam people and that. AC mandem. But if you're a doctor and you're a lawyer, you're a high flyer, you're an accountant, you're a mortgage broker and that, you're, you're doing well for yourself, you're buying properties, you're making money and that, you're enjoying life, going on holidays. That's going to attract other people that want to be around you and do fun things. Lecture almost over. Mano Gyal, good looking girls. They can pretty much get any guy that they really want, yeah, whatever, innit? They easily attract a guy. But because their life is a bit in turmoil and they're not getting the quality of man that they want, oh, I'm depressed. No, people, they claim that they're depressed, but they're out every weekend. But obviously not during, obviously, the lockdown period, innit? But beforehand, they were out every weekend or, they, you know, they have a good social life. They have a lot of friends around them, family, people love them, come check them, holler at them. Oh, I'm depressed. They ain't depressed. You don't know what depression is. If you think that, you know, not attracting a male or whatever means you're depressed or your life isn't going the way you want, you're depressed. But that ain't depression. People claim that. They're, they're depressed because their life ain't going away. Oh, all right. So Jay Wise is depressed. So I must. So it's acceptable for me to be depressed then because I ain't a millionaire and I ain't driving a fucking Lamborghini living in a Cotswold. Yeah, I'm depressed. Yeah. Me ain't depressed. Straight. Now I'm going to make a proper full length video talking about. Because when I speak to someone via email, they ask me, you know, how to build a strong character or whatever. Or, um, become strong minded. I'm going to make a proper video on that. I couldn't freestyle a video like that because I know in about a week or two's time I'll think of a better or things I could have added to that video. So I'm gonna leave that video for a little bit and I never did make that video, you know. Add little ideas <laughs> for everything. I don't know how many steps it's gonna be, but I kind of struggle. When they asked me that question about how to develop a strong mindset, I got a fucking strong mindset. And I even I thought to myself, like, rah, I'm this way. But how can I help someone to develop this? And I thought to myself, oh, you know, it just comes natural. And nah, it didn't come natural. Because I weren't oh, I never always had a strong mindset. 
Or maybe I never always had to have a strong mindset because I was a kid or whatever. And, you know, maybe something happened. But anyway, I'll leave that for the video. But, you know, there were certain little turning points in my life where I was like, yeah, man, I'm going to have a strong mindset now. And so look out for that video. But if you think you're depressed, you ain't depressed. Oh, you're putting a little bit of weight, you're depressed. Bro, go and fucking work out. Trust me. Go and exercise. If you don't like the way you look, you can do something about it. You need to develop some willpower. Oh, Man, no, I, worried about, oh, I ain't six foot three, that's why I ain't getting up. Listen, don't get bare girls. Yeah, no, I ain't trying to bolster nothing like that, innit? Yeah, but I'm five foot fucking nine. And I've never felt like I've struggled because, oh, how tall I am. You, you see um, girls that say, oh, they don't like um, guys who are under six foot, whatever, in it. Yeah, they say that. Yeah, that's just on the visual, like, you know, when they first walk past a man or whatever and they don't get to know. But trust me, a lot of them girls that say, oh, a guy needs to be six foot three or they won't date them. Once they get to know a certain man, as long as the guy ain't shorter than them, I'm telling you, they'll give him a chance, yeah. But this depression shit is just an excuse for most people. You got these guys out here talking about, oh, no man, no man wants me, no man wants me. There's plenty of men that want women. Man, the bar is so low for men in terms of just wanting to smash a girl. We will take pretty much anything that looks halfway decent. We don't give a fuck what is wrong with the girl as long as the puss works. We don't give a fuck what her mental condition is. We don't care if she's depressed. We don't care what her educational level is. We don't care what job she works. She could be fucking autistic. She could be a paranoid schizophrenic maniac. The girl could sleep with an axe under her bed, blood. We don't give a fuck. That's the post work, yes or no? That's all we care about. That's all we care about. And the reason why they ain't able to attract the man that they want is because the standards are too high. And think about it, if you want this high standard of man, that you so, so they want a high standard of man, but they're depressed. Why would a man that's doing well, achieving lots, making lots of money, going on these holidays here, there and there, socialising with his friends and having a good time, enjoying life, wake up in the morning and think, yeah, let's get it, man. Like, you know, more MO, motivated and that. Why would he want to be with your depressed ass? Just... You know, you know, like there's some people, yeah, no matter what's going on in the world that's good, someone will always finds something negative to come out of it. Run the video. And that's going to be one of the main things in that video, talking about developing a strong mindset. You've got to stop making excuses. Remember I made that video? Nothing lasts forever, you know. So whatever you think you're going through now, nah, one day nah. you are going through it. So you need to just try and, all right, listen, easier said than done here, yeah, but you're going to have to just try and move forward. Mm -hmm. yeah. But first, first step, stop calling yourself depressed because you're not depressed. Yeah, you're not depressed. Willpower. The ability to overcome adversity. Conquering adversity by Jelani. But seriously, willpower. A lot of people have got no willpower. They have no will to live. This is not some... Because man don't believe in this, uh, you know, energy or... like This ain't some... I mean, well, this is some philosophical type of mindset and that. And it just, just try to understand what man's saying. There's certain people in this world, yeah? Well, I say 90% of people in this world. They have no willpower. They have no will to do anything. They have no internal strength. No willpower. They could be on their deathbed and imagine, yeah, there was something that was within them that could actually allow them to, you get me, survive and live on. Not after death, but like, you know, survive whatever traumatic, traumatic thing happened to them. There's certain people, if they was put in that position where all it was is they just needed that will to live. You understand what I'm trying to say? Like, nah, I'm not done with life, innit? Yeah, I've got, I've got some more life to live, innit? Yeah, I'm not giving up yet. There's certain people, a lot of people, nice certain people, They'll tap out. Me, I'm one of them people. If I something mad happened to me, and literally I was on my deathbed and that, and all it took was just some inner willpower, I survived. You know, man's got that willpower. 
mind over fucking matter, blood. I can do anything I want within reason, all right? I ain't going to run faster than Usain Bolt unless I train every day for the next six years. Willpower. The power to overcome adversity, overcome hard times, blood. A lot of people ain't got no willpower. This is why black people will always be at the bottom. Because in their head, they cannot. They believe that they will never uh, be successful. They believe that someone's always holding them back. Me, in my head, maybe I'm delusional. Yeah, you can call me that. But I don't give a fuck about that shit. No one can touch me. No one can test me, blood. I do what the fuck I want. No one can stop me from being successful, fam. That's the difference between me and them. Them same black people who feel like, you know, it's going to be a lot harder for them. They have to work twice as hard as the white man for half the result. If you put my brain in their body, they would make something of themselves. And if you was to give me a brain transplant and give me their shit rotten ass fucking brain, I'd be a waste man as well. There would be no JY's TV. There would be no JY's TV on Instagram where man hit me up on a regular fucking basis and asked man for advice. Big fat scrolls of texts with voice notes, everything. I'm literally, I have to say to a man, yo, I need to respond to these one by one. Yeah, so bear with me. If I had that victim mindset, Sorry. I would never be in the position I'm in today. I'll be like some waste men that I know. Who then try to give me advice. Basically, I made a video. I don't know. Well, I haven't released it yet. I don't know if I'm going to release it by the time you not see this video. But basically, I made a video talking about the black pill is the victim mentality. And you know what? It's synonymous with the black the black mentality, the, the mentality of a black person. The black pill mentality is, so you know you got red pill, blue pill, black pill. Black pill, their mentality is, if you're not six foot three, if you are not a genetic wonder, if you're not rich, if you have not got a jaw that's made out of granite and it's chiseled, then your dick is going to shrivel up and fall off and women are not going to want you. That's the same with black people. If I'm not, if I'm not white, if I'm not from a privileged background, then I'm never going to be successful. I'm doomed. I'm set up to fail. I cannot improve. There's certain people with the black people mindset, if they're five foot nine, if they're broke at the moment, at the moment, if they're never going to have a chisel jawline because they've got a round face, they feel like they can never get women. They feel like they can never improve. That's the victim mentality. But yeah, look out for that one. It's all the black people Mentality is the victim mentality or something like that. Anyway, this is a quick message, innit? I'm out. Stay wise. Don't know.